Who controls our destiny? Do we have free will? What is free will? Have you ever wondered these questions and ponder over these? I'm quite sure you have. We, we all have. You know, the destiny thing is the big one. Because, you know, in our lives, we attempt to make things work and we, what we call, try to create things. And for some reason, it doesn't go according to plan, right? You know, there's that one part of your mind that says, ah, oh, it's not going to work. Uh, let's try it this way. But there's something else, right? You have that feeling in your heart like, this is what I'm supposed to do. This is supposed to happen. But for some reason, this, it's not happening. It's like, what's going on? Why is, why is this not working? Well, the destiny thing, right? Who controls our destiny? Do I have a destiny? Is my life pre-programmed? If it is, what's the use? All these are excellent questions that we're gonna answer today. So I'm gonna show you how it all works. All right, so did you know that you chose this life, this planet, this experience, even down to your family, you chose that before you came here. You've always been here. Our consciousness can never be destroyed. Energy has always been here. It can never be created or destroyed. So you were already here in some form. Now, this goes into what we call religion. Is there a God, a creator, a higher being? Well, I believe that. I believe there's an intelligent creator, an intelligent designer of all of this. And I believe that we are a part of it or that system. And I believe that we chose to come here for experiences. Now, here's where it gets a little tricky. If you don't know that it's not you by yourself here, right? You have an existential part of you that exists in what we call the etheric, or you could call it the spiritual realm. Spiritual basically means uh, beyond the physical, believe in non-physical. That part of you is known as higher self, authentic self, the true soul. We've all heard of it. Now let me show you something interesting. Did you know if you or you're into the Bible, did you know reincarnation and incarnation is actually a part of the Bible for thousands of years? Did you know that? Did you know that in a few centuries that, uh, prior to that, uh, the Romans took that out because of a certain empire or emperor that stated that it wasn't in accordance with what they wanted the word or the truth to be? Did you know that? Also, did you know that the kids or people that remember their past lives, up to now, science have no way of refuting it. This actually happens because they, they pinpoint exact location, places, things, people, memories that they would never ever actually know. Did you know that? So I'm painting a picture here for you to show you that there is something beyond even your wildest mind can comprehend that the way things work and the way you got here is totally different than what they told you or what they implanted or programmed in your mind. That's very powerful. So well, how does it work with destiny? Well, the part of you that is outside of what I call the matrix or the false prism of reality is your higher self. It constantly communicates with you. It actually communicates to you with two ways. It communicates to you through your heart and it communicates to, to you through your feelings and intuitions. And we've all experienced this. It also communicates to you through your dreams, when you meditate, even it uses your external reality to send message to you as synchronicities, right? That's the higher self. So what happened is your overall, keyword, your overall destiny is predetermined but how you go about achieving it, that's where you have what we call free will. So that means your overall purpose is already predestined. When you came here, this was something 
that you wanted to experience. So how do I know what my destiny is then? Here's the secret. If you have a desire, this burning passion or feeling for something and it's in your heart, but you don't know how in the world you're going to get it. It may be big, it may be tremendous. Maybe you want to be an actor, an actress, an architect, a successful business person, an artist, but outside you have no way of knowing how to do it. That's your destiny. That's where it comes in. That's what you chose because it was already implanted in your physical body through your heart and through your feelings and it holds your subconscious mind holds it. That's you. You gave yourself that. So your destiny is predetermined. Now let's go about how you achieve your destiny. That's where free will comes in. Because it means that basically you can choose all different options. You can go here, there, everywhere, but you will always be drawn to your destiny. Have you ever noticed that's why when individuals when they sway away from their path or they go somewhere else it doesn't work they're always drawn back see that because you're being led by your destiny so examine what's in your heart examine how you feel examine the things that you that you have they were put in there to tease you they were put in there for you to accomplish through your higher self now let me break something down let me show you how powerful you are that's right you are your higher self The thing about the hi- our higher selves is when we came to this earth it's a place for experience. Some people call it school. So what your higher self does it kind of gives you amnesia. What I call amnesia kind of makes you forget who you are so you could be into the moment, the experience. So you can enjoy it. So it makes the life more passionate, more fun, more fulfilling. Think of it this way. When you watch a movie, let's say you're watching a movie And if you watch the entire movie and know everything about the movie, it's no fun. You already know the ending and everything, right? Not going to be fun. Wouldn't you rather watch a movie where you can just uh guess the next scene or it just makes it more fun because you don't know what's going to happen? That's sort of what your higher self does. But nevertheless, it knows exactly the entire timeline for you. It knows how to get you what you want. It knows how to make you happy, successful, wealthy, healthy, attract the perfect partner. It has all that for you. Okay, it's part of your destiny. So, our destiny was predetermined by us, our higher selves. We cannot see that part of us because it exists in a dimension where the physical construct of our body, the brain, the mind, the eyes, they can't interpret that reality, but you're still connected through your heart, through your feelings and through your subconscious mind. You have this powerful part of you that they wiped out all knowledge of when you came here. It's not going to be in the books. You're not going to find it in any place. They tr- they don't want you to know this. But that's you. Now, to achieve your destiny, all you have to do is this. And let me show you. Now that you know your destiny you chose it is predetermined but you have free will to get it. So that's good. So how can you put it to work? Here's a trick. What you do now, when you know you have something in your heart, you focus on that. You don't try to figure it out. Because there's also a part of us that came in this physical part to interpret this reality or to basically interact with it. and that is our intellect mind or the ego mind that's where the distraction comes in and that will take you off your purpose so how can you stay on your purpose or your destiny or whatever you want so you focus on it in your heart you think about it you make it your dominant thought or your dominant vibration you start doing that you're now in connection with your true self your true self now will start to send you guidance this is where you kind of watch behind the scenes you start to pick information up right it may come in a dream it may come through a feeling it may come through an intuition it may come through other people but now you know this because you're ready and you're observing it that's how you're going to get through your destiny and fulfill it you're not going to get through your destiny by using intellect or figuring it out because that mind isn't com- isn't compatible with 
the etheric level. That mind is just a use it tool mind. Use it and put it down. That's what the ego is. So now that's how you can control and master your destiny. And now you know who controls your destiny. It's you, the truest, highest form of you known as your higher self.